and basically I tell my patients I'm an electrician of your heart and uh, uh, we take care of very uh, subspecialized uh, problems in uh, cardiology really that have to do with electrical abnormalities and so we deal with things such as uh, arrhythmias that one of the very common ones is atrial fibrillation um, a very large patient population has it especially as we get older we do a lot of things like SVT which are uh, fast heartbeats from the top part of the heart and also we deal with a lot of lethal arrhythmias like ventricular tachycardia. Part of why the, I find my field so exciting is, is that it really incorporates um, both the medical aspects of the disease that I treat as well as the surgical aspect. Um, and many patients that I see I can help with medications and often tr cure them with uh, ablation procedures. There really is no procedure in cardiology uh, that we don't do here. Um, uh, we are always trying to strive for the newest technology, the newest care we can give to our patients. And the defibrillator is an amazing invention uh, that, that's occurred in the last uh, many years. Uh, every time I put one in, I'm, I'm always humbled by the technology. Uh, what it is basically is is almost a pager size device, a little bit bigger than a pacemaker, uh, and which basically gets implanted underneath the skin, usually on one of your side shoulders, typically the left, with uh, either one or up to three wires that go inside your veins into your heart muscle and basically sit there and monitor your heartbeat um, to make sure that if you ever have a lethal arrhythmia, or a lethal rhythm that it would actually come in and jolt the heart to bring it back to life. Um, some of these defibrillators are very fancy in the sense that they can actually help the heart muscle get stronger. Those are called biventricular defibrillators. And I we have some awesome success stories where people that were really barely even able to get up a flight of stairs now dancing the polka is what one of them uh, 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 told me and it just makes you feel really good as a doc to be able to give that to your patients. What brought me to here was the the intentions of the physicians and I and the nursing staff and people that help. We just have very good trained physicians that have very good intentions, and I think it's very important when you have when you when you. Uh, helping a patient, uh, uh, not just what technologies you have, but what are your intentions. Uh, and and um, uh, uh, I feel that the, the goodness in people here uh, is very particular to Western, you know, to Grand Rapids, it's just a very special place.